unsure how to perform barbell hip thrusts in a CrossFit gym, today we're gonna walk you through that. Depending on what your CrossFit gym has, I'm gonna walk you through three different setups where you can make the optimal barbell hip thrust setup for you to execute. Setup number one is going to be a decline bench. If you have yourself a decline bench, you can put it at the lowest setting to be able to use that. Number two, most people just have a regular bench. Okay, I'm gonna go through how to perform barbell hip thrust on a regular bench. And then number three is if your CrossFit gym does not have any type of benches, I'm gonna walk you through how to use just a dumbbell, a heavy dumbbell, and a heavy medicine ball to set up for your barbell hip thrust. Number one, most important part of equipment for a barbell hip thrust, let's be honest, is a hip pad to protect our hip bones, okay? If you can either have a nice hip pad or a Velcros around your barbell, if you don't have one, you can just use a yoga mat or a towel to be able to sit that thing into your hips to be able to park the barbell. Set up for the decline bench press. I have it here at the lowest setting that it goes all the way down to. I always want my, at least my upper back to be on the bench. I don't want just my shoulder blades to be on the bench as I could fall off of it when there's a lot of weight on, okay? So, bringing that thing to my hips, making sure it's even. Upper mid back is on the bench. I'm able to perform my glute bridges, or sorry, perform my barbell hip thrust on a decline bench. If your gym does not have an ability to decline your bench and you just have a regular bench, we can still use this. Now I will say that this is a little harder for shorter people that have shorter limbs as you might feel like you're having to really get yourself into it um, to be able to get into position, okay? But ideally, what you can do is you're gonna bring this thing all the way over. You're gonna put your shoulders on the pad, put that thing in your hip already and get that middle of your back on the bench. A good thing is if I can put my elbows on it, I'm good, I can hold it the rest of the way to be able to perform my barbell hip thrust. Now, if you feel like the bench is moving because it doesn't weigh a lot, feel free to either put your bench against a wall or if you wanna put dumbbells off to the side to be able to help it stay secure, that's another way to do that. Now, let's say that your gym does not have access to benches. What you're gonna use is you're gonna use a heavy dumbbell and you're gonna use a heavy medicine ball. I definitely recommend anything that's 14 pounds and over if it's too light, you'll be able to squish it into it a little bit too much when you have a lot of weight up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your dumbbell and you're gonna set your medicine ball right in there so that's not able to move and roll around. From here, you're gonna get yourself set up. Same thing, you're looking for that middle of your back to be on the ball, not just your head, all right? This is also, I found this to be really great for shorter individuals. Um, you know, looking at like five, four and under, this is a great setup as it, it's great for their optimal leg height. All right, get yourself set up in that, pull those feet back, and then you're good to go. The ball doesn't move. I'm able to push my mid back through it. Now let's talk about the setup of the barbell hip thrusts for maximum booty gains. All right. So again, number one, your back, you want your middle of your back to be on whatever apparatus it is. If it's too low here, you're gonna find yourself sliding off. And as your weight gets heavier, you might be able to fall all the way off the bench. And no one wants that, okay? We want the booty game. So putting that middle of your back on the bench, you're gonna roll that barbell into your hips. Next thing you wanna focus on is your foot placement. If you're too far back, you're not gonna get as much booty as you want. If you're too far in, you're gonna focus on targeting targeting your quads too much. Ideally, you want to be at the top of your glute bridge. I'll show you without the weight, at the top of the glute bridge, you want your shin to be vertical with the floor. If I'm too close, I'm going into my toes, I'm feeling all quads. If I'm too far away, I'm feeling too much hamstring. You wanna be right in the middle, shin vertical as you hear. Now, another thing you don't wanna do is as I come up, I don't want to look towards the sky. When I do that, I tend to get into my low back. I want to think about keeping my chest to here stable and just my booty is moving the barbell, all right? 
get that barbell in my hip. Look straight ahead. Think about my chin even tucked a little bit. And then I'm just bringing my hips to full range of motion. If I go too far up and I really rink into it, that's when you start to feel that low back getting involved. I want to only focus on the butt. Are you looking to improve your sexiness in 2023? Then baby, barbell hip thrusts need to be on your menu.